Well, I wanted to review Heist, but it's not playing anywhere in my state. I guess my choices are to take a six hour trip to Chicago to see it, or just review a different movie. Maybe one that people actually care about. Okay, heist. Honestly, this movie isn't worth traveling six hours to see. That doesn't mean it's terrible, but don't cross any state or country borders to watch it. You'll be disappointed. Overall, Heist wasn't bad for a movie whose sole purpose for existing is to trick people into thinking they're paying for heat. It was okay. Neither good nor bad. This movie's about three guys who decide to rob a casino. You have your main guy, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who's doing it to pay for his sick daughter's surgery. You have Dave Bautista, who's doing it because he's big and mean and likes money. And you have the expendable guy. Anyway, the robbery gets complicated and they all end up hijacking a bus and holding the passengers hostage. It turns out the Dennis Hopper put a bomb on the bus and if it goes under 50 miles an hour it'll blow. <laughs> is something something get bus. I actually haven't seen that movie. Robert De Niro plays the casino boss in this story and you know I have to say it's refreshing to see him take on a completely new type of role this late in his career. I mean he hasn't played this type of character before. Good on you, De Niro, for branching out. De Niro wants these guys' heads and the cops are also after them, so we have our movie. Which is overall fairly competent. The acting's pretty good, Dave Bautista was the best part, which isn't surprising considering that he was also the best part of Guardians of the Galaxy and Spectre. He's quite menacing, it's not just because of his size, a lot of it's based on how he talks. He has a scary way of talking. Morgan's passable, and that's all I have to say about him. De Niro could play his role in his sleep, but he turns in probably the best performance of his straight-to-on-demand career here. Doesn't say much, but it, it's nice that he hasn't turned completely hostile toward acting like Bruce Willis has. We'll cover him later. I also had fun with the action scenes, both of them. Yeah, that's a problem here. Speed knew how to keep the action coming nonstop. Heist, on the other hand, kind of drags with too many scenes of hostage negotiation and scenes of people pointing guns at each other. It gets as repetitive as the end of Uncle Tom's Star Wars The Force Awakens review. But in truth, the action that is here is pretty fun. Add a nifty twist at the end and you have an okay movie to watch on Netflix. I give it a five out of 10. Well, I guess I'll head back to Michigan now. Heist may have just been okay, but at least this bus is nice enough to show a movie on the way back. I wonder what it is. Birth. Birth. Birthplace of the human race. A species. Oh no. No. They've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> 